Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, earlier we were discussing uh, Super Bowl 58 and now we're going to be diving into ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers uh, teaming up to create a new sports streaming service. Um, so I think it was, was it last week that we were talking about um, how- I believe on Friday. How, um, oh, what's his name? Roger Goodell. Yeah, Goodell. See, I'm was, there for you. We're connected. <laughs> um, how Roger Goodell was basically saying, like, uh-uh, no, we're not going to exclusively stream the Super Bowl. We're going to put it on broadcast television as well. And now it seems like that may be, that may change. And so, see, this, and I don't think the NFL had any clue that this deal was coming out here. This was a, because these networks already have the 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 contracts so i don't want to jump ahead of you but when roger goodell mailed that made that statement i don't think he knew about this do you have more to say about this or you want me to dive in there um so espn fox corporation and warner brothers discovery said on tuesday they will be joining forces to launch a streaming sports service the platform will include offerings from at least 15 networks and all four major uh, professional sports leagues. The paid service is scheduled to be debut this fall um, via a new app, although subscribers will be able to bundle it with Disney Plus, Hulu, and Max, um, according to a statement from Warner Brothers. Um, each company will own a one-third stake in the joint venture. Uh, the plan uh came amid increased uh, competition in the business of streaming uh, sporting events with industry giants including Amazon and Netflix recently striking deals to add sports content for their streaming customers. Um, in announcing the new venture, Walt Disney owned ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers said the new platform will provide access to thousands of high profile sporting events from NFL games to Formula One racing. Uh, the platform will include games from the NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, WNBA, NASCAR, and college sports, including the men's and women's NCAA tournament, as well as golf, tennis, and the FIFA World Cup. So. Okay. Now, this is huge. Mm -hmm. When I saw this, I'm like, they got my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. I don't know what they're charging yet. Mm -hmm. If it's well, if Ten dollars a, a month, if you can twenty dollars a, a month, though, right? A, Thirty, forty, fifty dollars a month. I'm paying it. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. I'm gonna pay it. If you're a sports fan, this is what every sports fan since the whole cord cutting thing has happened. Mm -hmm. We have always wanted this. Yeah. The college football fan. Okay, who has the SEC? ESPN. Who has the Big Ten? Fox mm -hmm. now and it's like man I gotta go over here for this gotta go over here now the Big Ten the SEC they're together on one app mm -hmm. uh you want so you can watch your football games college football that's gonna be it. also they both have the they you know you also have the Big 12 and the ACC so this is huge those big deals are all together you have the NFL, one app that you can get all, you can get your NFL games. Uh, ESPN has the UFC. Now I can, get, I can get my UFC on there if you're a golf guy. This is the ultimate place for, if you're a sports fan, this is where, this, this is where everyone's going to go. Mm -hmm. Now, you go back to Roger Goodell saying, uh, I don't see, like, not in his tenure. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be some hustling backwards here because it's just a matter of time before this app, which has the major po sports power brokers all on one app saying, okay, now you could put the Super Bowl on this app. Mm -hmm. You could put the Super Bowl on this app and everyone would be happy. Uh, this is like the perfect situation I found it, I, I thought it was quite ingenious what they've done. They just divided it up evenly. Now, everyone still has their contracts. All these contracts are still different. The Big Ten is on Fox. Uh, 
the SEC is on ESPN, using those two as an example, because those are the big monsters in college football. Mm -hmm. But they still have their contracts, but they'll still be able to run their commercials and run their shows and everything just like they did, except for they'll be on their regular programs, but they will also be on the app. They'll, they'll get the commercial revenue. They'll still be getting their extra revenue plus an extra scoop of ice cream, a little extra sprinkles on top because they'll get the app money, the ad money. Uh, they have, they, they'll get it all, but still work together. It's kind of like they just all came together. And with this cable television, this is the death of cable television. Yeah. Because... Cable television is only surviving off of news and sports. This and program here makes it. Why do you need cable television ever right. again? And um, with sports already coming into the streaming service, the news uh, side of things is uh, looking into doing things on apps as well now instead of doing um, uh, cable TV. Um, no, cable... cable uh, I forget how many, it was like uh, over 6 million people just last year was like, nope, we're done. Mm -hmm. That Like every year it's 5, 10 million people are like, nope, I don't need cable anymore. Yeah. But the number one reason why you, when you look at reasons, either you're older and this is the way it's always been done and this is what you're used to. Mm -hmm. But I saw a number, I watch a number of different sports outlets and I was watching YouTube and watching a number of them sports outlets. And a lot of these guys were saying the same thing. The only reason why they have cable television is because they have to catch their games. They want their football on Sunday. They have to catch their ESPN. Uh, Saturdays, they have to watch the college football. They have to watch the masters, mm -hmm. uh, and everything and it's like now no no i yeah. don't if you're a if you're a sports bar you have to have you have to have you have to have a cable bill you have to have these cable bills which you know you have 200 channels if you're a sports bar you don't give a crap about those channels you don't care that the Gilmore Girls are on USA Met Network. You want to get your ESPN and you want to get your sports. Now, if you're working at a, if you have a sports bar, you just got to have the app. We have the app. We have we have all the sports we need. Mm -hmm. You want to come here and you want to watch the UFC? Great. You want to watch college football? Great. You want to watch the NFL, Major League Baseball? We have it. Hey, you want to watch Formula One? We have it now on one app. Yeah. Cancel it. It's 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 a that is the absolute last dagger in the cable network's heart right there. They're done. Yeah. I definitely saw this coming. Um, but after uh Goodell's statement, I thought it would be at least, you know, like a couple more years before it happened. And then right after he did his whole press conference, this comes out. Um, and I don't yes. think it's mm -hmm. going to be super pricey because if you can bundle it with other stuff, cause I already have like Disney and Hulu bundle and I don't think it's more than like $15 a month. But there's a big difference between, you know, Hulu and Disney plus yes, Disney is super popular and you want to get your Mandalorian and you want to get this, this and that, you know, then the NFL, mm -hmm. that's a billion dollar, that's a, a multi, that's multi-billion dollar contracts a year. The SEC, multiple, that's a, a billion plus uh, deal on ESPN. The Big Ten, that's a billion, multi-billion dollar contract there. Mm -hmm. These are massive contracts that they have to have, that they have to get these programs, but you're gonna put it all in one. I'm gonna say between 25 and 50. Yeah, I don't, think it would be, I don't think it would be more than 25 because if they're gonna keep uh, ads on the app as well, 
that's mm-hmm. paying for part of it. So, because that's why like Hulu is still on the cheaper side because you can have Hulu with ads and it's cheaper without ads. So if they're keeping ads on it, I don't see it being more than $25, but they may offer a thing where you can do it without ads. I don't know if that would be possible, but if they do it, if they offer it without ads, I feel like it would be like 30 to $40. See, I, I, I've been, I'm, I'm looking at the 25 to 50 and I'm going to pay it. You yeah, know, I that's... am too. Do you know how hard of a time I have trying to find uh, Georgia football games every time I want to watch them when I'm at home? Like, I have to... <laughs> the SEC network's part of it. The Big Ten network's going to yeah. be a part of it. You know, every SEC game is going to be on there. Mm-hmm. When... And when you think about the fact that they'll have the Big Ten, the ACC, the Big 12, mm-hmm. and the SEC, there's not a game, there's not a Georgia game you're going to miss. There's not an Alabama game, an Ohio State, a Michigan game that will be missed on this app. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just it's just a win, for every, I think, for everyone involved. Yeah, I agree. Um, I wonder when this will be coming out though i don't think i they they haven't announced when they they just kind of said a ballpark that'll be Mm -hmm. coming this spring summer guaranteed it will be sometime this summer they're not going to they're not gonna they're not gonna miss college football they're not gonna miss the nfl do you know how many people are gonna sign up once the once the college football season starts. Mm-hmm. That's then the NFL season starts. Like we were talking about the streaming for that uh, Kansas City playoff game mm-hmm. that was on Peacock. Mm-hmm. Twenty two million people watched it on t- Peacock. Yeah. This NFL kickoff. If twenty two million people signed up on Peacock to watch one game. What are they going to do when everything is there? Yeah. I wonder, I feel like if they could get it done before March Madness, they can make a lot of money. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yes. You know, March Madness is huge. Mm-hmm. March Madness. I... So I'm wondering. And with them announcing it. Or... Yeah. Mar- see, March Madness is in like... a couple of weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That may be too fast. I don't. I. Yeah. I don't see that. That. That would be, and you cannot half launch this thing. You cannot rush this. It would be worth it to skip March Madness and the start of Major League Baseball, which starts in a few weeks as well. Spring training starts because you want to make sure you have college football and uh, the NFL because mm-hmm. you know. Let's say you do March Madness, you rush it out. And there's glitches and there's all of this problem. Yeah. You have all these people canceling. The reputation comes out bad. Mm-hmm. That's a disaster. They're going to want it perfect for mm-hmm. the NFL. Well, I guess I guess we'll see. And I tell you what, if it's here before uh, college football starts, I will be paying <laughs> however much <laughs> a month for it. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I don't like about you, Faith? Here's mm-hmm. something I don't like about you. I'm going to give something I don't like. You're going to make me watch way more Georgia games than I really need I to. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> because you're my girl, I'm going to want to talk to you about Georgia. And Georgia Go is stacked this year. Go dogs. And, <laughs> and so I'm going to be, you know, I'm, I'm always watching my Miami Hurricanes and my Michigan Wolverines. I'm always going to watch those guys. I'm always, since Dion's in Colorado, I'm going to watch every Colorado game. Mm-hmm. Georgia, I'm gonna, yeah, uh, Georgia or, or yeah, Ohio I'm State. One. I'm gonna look. At, I'm gonna look at. The, I'm gonna be watching a lot of those games as well. We'll come. We're gonna cover a lot of college football this year. That's so. that'll be my favorite part. I love college football. I know um, you do. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna dive into our oddities of the day. <laughs> 